Hattie, my name's Randall, but my friends call me Rufus. I'm a world-class horse trainer. I've been training horses since before I was born, literally. My mama gave birth to me while she was on horseback, turned to cattle drive. She didn't even stop to clean me up or nothing. We just kept going. I roped a few calves that day, and I've been training horses ever since. I do a lot of desensitization. Yeah, so basically I find different things that I think will be really scary to the horse, and I wave it at them until they stand still. Sometimes this can take hours and hours. That's why I'm so fit. But finally, when they get it and they're standing still, that means they're not afraid anymore. I actually learned this method from my pa. When I was little, I had an irrational fear of rattlesnakes. And so one day, my pa had had it. So he grabbed a rattlesnake and he chased me with it and chased me with it and chased me with it until I stopped running. I was so scared, I thought I was gonna die. But I was so tired of running and running, I finally dropped to the ground and my pa, he shoved that rattlesnake in my face. And it was then that I realized that rattlesnake was dead all this time. So there was nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> It was then I realized I could trust my pa. He was only looking out for my best interest. I learned trust and respect that day. And that's how I train horses. The biggest issue I see with horses is their lack of respect, really. I mean, people in my life don't respect me either, but I make sure my horses do. Oh no, I use pressure and release. Which, if you aren't familiar, it's basically when you put loads of pressure on a horse and you don't release it, ever. That's why it's called pressure and release. I admit sometimes I lose my patience with horses, so I take it out on him. And then I tie him to this patience pole here and let him sit and think on it. No food, no water. However long it takes, sometimes it's days. But they learn their lesson, all right. They learn. That's how I was raised. And I turned out pretty good, I'd say. Some people think that horses need consistency, a little bit of training every day, but I ain't got time for that. I just cram it all into a three or four hour session before the owner says they're gonna pay a visit. If I could describe my training philosophy in one word, hmm. how about total annihilation? No, 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 domination. That sounds better. The fact of the matter is horses need a leader. Okay, I mean, you always see that one horse that's beaten up on all the other horses. So those are the same methods I use. I give them some kicking, maybe some biting if necessary, but that's my method. And actually, horse training is the same as child rearing. I don't have kids of my own, but someday I want a bunch. That way they can do all the horse tours for me. What's my motto for horse training? Never thought about it. How about it's my way or the highway? That'll work. There's no horse's spirit that I can't break. In fact, I could have broken spirit's spirit if given the chance. Disrespectful. Ha, 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 ha,